Welcome back to It's Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got another compilation video today for The Godfather, uh, Kevin Samuels. Uh, thought we can start off the new year with some savage moments uh, from him. So please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, it's time to get to the chow. It's chow time, guys. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi, Kevin. How are you? I am well. How old are you? 31. Okay, what's going on with yeah. your what's going on with your connection? Look, oh look God! Little, so different. to be honest, I just came to my. Oh right. So to be honest, I just came to my hometown. I haven't been here in eleven years, so that might be why it's kind of spotty. Oh, okay. But uh, um, so new to the show. Yes, yeah, so I finally got to you. Awesome. I've been like screenshotting and tagging you. Ooh, sorry. Yes. Okay. Someone's flirting with. Oh, I got a caller. My cousin. Boop. It's my cousin. Boop. All right, man. All right, just wasting Kevin's um, time. I, I appreciate how calm you are. You have a nice, um, calm sense about you. And I understand um, human anatomy a little bit. And I love uh, your shows. They're very informative. It's great information to take. I'm a six-year vegan. <laughs> what does human anatomy and veganism have to do with Kevin's show? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, I don't know if you know too much about that, but I like to get that out in the <laughs> useless they really give therapy an open shot mm -hmm. but it sounds to me that he's still reasonable enough with you to raise co-parenting effectively yes well then what do you want do you want love romance do you want a soulmate is that what you want i do then go watch a goddamn disney movie <laughs> you're a mother <laughs> You get duty. That's what you get. You oh, get yeah. duty. Duty to your son. Duty to your husband. Duty to your family. Don't, don't be in the don't don't be in the dark. Oh, let don't me let me get some. Don't, don't oh, you dark. want light? Oh, oh yes, want yes. You want to talk? Talk. Yes, I do. How old are you? Like, I okay. am forty. Mm. Okay. First of all, uh -huh. you're forty. Are you married? Or are you single? I'm married. I am married. I'm married. Say, say again, you broke up. Mm -hmm. Define egotistic. Define egotistical. You. No, no. Define <laughs> egotistical. You can't say me. You, you use the word. Now, please define it for the audience. When I, when I bring up the word egotistical, your face is right next to it like okay so me, look i'm gonna i'm gonna no no see this is how this this is what's gonna you come happen. off as a man that so here's a, what you, this is what's gonna happen chick either we're gonna do it my way i'm trying to give oh. you an opportunity but if you want to go that way, way i can do no this way. without you yeah because you don't because you're not talking so you no can way, do it. Right? yeah it's his way or no way it's his fucking show what the fuck you can either you can either see this is when these women who just like to talk I, so you can either no, answer the question. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> gave you an opportunity. Useless. Feel sorry for your husband. A little bit. Get your big ass on camera if you want to talk to me. Big ass on camera. Yeah, get oh. your big ass on camera if you want to talk to me. Come on. I'll get my fucking big ass on camera. Hey. Oh, that you will. Uh, no, let, her get a, let her get a big ass oh. on camera. You it's funny that these women just come on a youtube show that has millions of followers to make fools of themselves to smoke it's women like her to get upset with me because it's the truth now come in here and cuss and make a fool of yourself Hi. oh you sexy as a motherfucker hey shirley i'm Hi. big ones <laughs> hey shirley how you doing very well I can't hear you. the I friend is laughing her ass well. off at yeah, the you other you uh huh yeah. you uh -huh. how tall are you very well. So, do you want to judge me or should I judge you? Uh, I don't care what you got to say. I look better than you on my worst day. Oh, I, I was <laughs> look at this woman. She's going to get upset with me. Look, see, it's women like that that don't like me. Do because at, you. No, no. Uh, no, no, you look fat. Right. <laughs> yeah. Now, whenever I ask, are you going to have your money to retire on? The answer is always no. But then the conversation goes on. Then what? Then all of a sudden they got all these lawsuits and everything else. 
Well, what happened? Oh, you, need to, you need to bounce back on, man. Uh, look, <laughs> ladies, why, why, why is it so? So many women walk around like life is a joke. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. It's not a game. Why are you so egotistical? Because your mama. <laughs> Look at you. You are. Your mama. <laughs> oh, savage. Savage. If you want to talk shit to me, get your big ass on camera first. <laughs> That's why. Tell me a country. I did a clip of her last time, but it was a different moment. This one's actually uh, a little bit more savage than the last moment. She fuck you fucking mutes her for being fucking dumbass. Where womanist, womanist policies have led it into. Uh, a first world country and a first world situation and sustained it. Listen, this is not about. Uh uh. You answered the question. Don't tell me, listen, shit. See, <laughs> you guys need to understand something. This this woman right here. Is Disrespectful the people. What's wrong with the black community? And the problem is feminism, womanism is a way to level the sexual marketplace value for, for unattractive women. And notice for everybody else, she had no problem. Saying, who wants an average man when she looked like that? Yep. Average looking woman. Oh, yeah, you average as hell. Oh, she triggered oh, now. Yeah, you average as hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you average as hell. You can't even hear yeah, her, but he knows what she's her. saying. She triggered? Triggered. <laughs> average as French toast. Look at this. Average as. <laughs> I want you to go back to your family album. I want you to show me a bunch of women that were 300 pounds. Go back to your <laughs> family. 300 pounds. I'm, that's not the me? point. Really? Ma'am, that's not really? the point. The point is, you ladies are too. You have you stand up with a corset on, saying that you're not fat. Like, what the fuck? Large. I don't care, Pam Greer. You like it or not, you're too large. Just because we like where the fat lands doesn't mean that you're good. <laughs> Show me in your family album a bunch of two hundred plus pound women. Show me your grandmother, your great grandmother. They weren't your height and weight. You are not supposed to be larger, way more than the male of the species. Yep. Just because we like whatever, if you got to pull that shit in and cinch it all in, that's to tell you something. I waist trained. You shouldn't have to train your waist. That shit should be trained already. <laughs> your collarbone should be showing. You should not have bye bye arms. See, what you ladies don't seem to understand is you want to ask for more from the next guy than you did for the guy who got you when you were younger. And hadn't had any children. Yep. And it's unreasonable. And what percentage of men in this country earn five hundred thousand dollars or more? Five hundred thousand, one percent. Right. And I need you to be brutally honest with yourself. <laughs> Are you a one percent kind of woman? What I think I really have an issue is like the type of guys like they just want a woman that like looks good on their arm. Like yes. <laughs> So, like, when you say, oh, no, no, listen, let me stop, stop, stop. stop. Not... Yes, that's what we want because that's who we are. And you yeah, want a man. That's the problem oh, but, I have with dating. But, you, but listen, 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 like... listen, listen. She has a problem with how men are. Okay. Listen, listen li <laughs> you want men not to be men. You want men to think like women. That's not what we value, ma'am. We want a beautiful woman on our arm. Yeah, and that's the problem. Well, no, <laughs> you're, you're the, the problem. problem. I'm the because, problem. Yes, you're the problem because I'm telling you what men want. You've experienced what men want, and you've got a problem with it. That's your problem. We're not going to change. You're either going to get on board with it, or you will die alone. You're the one that called in and said, hey, I'm having problems attracting non-weak men. Correct. And I'm listening to what you're saying, and I'm like, well, you attract what you are. <laughs> so, ma'am, listen and turn down the diva energy. At five foot four, 180 pounds, you weigh more than a, a man at your height. N Seriously, ma'am, if we height weight adjusted you, you would be the size of an offensive or defensive lineman. You are a fine ass old man. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> you ever come to Seattle? All the time. <laughs> he has to make at least. 
you're the one that called in and said, hey, I'm having problems attracting non-weak men. Correct. And I'm listening to what you're saying, and I'm like, well, you attract what you are. <laughs> so, ma'am, listen and turn down the diva energy. At five foot four, 180 pounds, you weigh more than a, a man woman. at your height. And seriously, ma'am, if we height weight adjusted you, you would be the size of an offensive or defensive lineman. 